that he gave his only begotten son, so that whosoever will believe in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. The same God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob reigns. And for those of you who laugh, your households will be hit first. For those of you who laugh, your households are already under judgment. For God is not a God that God can be mocked. For my God lives. The same God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob reigns. The same God that parted the Red Sea from Moses sent me here as a divine warner to warn you he's getting ready to strike the land. It won't be so funny then. For my God lives, my God reigns. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Children, if you're under the sound of my voice, pray to Yeshua, pray to Jesus, baby. He loves you. He, God sent his son for Jesus to die on the cross for your sins. Repent, for God said, if you don't warn your children, they will be burning next to you in the lake of fire. This is not a test of the emergency broadcast system. This is a real deal. For the same God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob reigns. For the same God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is getting ready to strike the land. Repent. It's not worth it. You're being officially warned by heaven. Your pastors did not tell you that the three days of darkness is upon us because the pastors are not seeking God's face. The pastors are more concerned with their fancy churches. If it wasn't true, how come the pastors aren't taking the streets like me? For God so loved the world, the same God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob reigned. The same God that parted the Red Sea from Moses lives. Repent. It's not worth it. Your houses won't be there. Haven't you noticed the grocery stores in your neighborhoods are limited? Repent. It's just like in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. God promises that before he strikes the land, that he will warn his people. I'm officially your warning. Repent for the same God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob reigns. For the same God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob lives. Repent for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whosoever would believe in him will not perish but will have everlasting life. Return to me, my people. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. God is getting ready to strike the land. You ain't got to believe me now, but you will witness Tennessee will be on fire. America will be on fire. It's not worth it. Whatever it is that you traded your salvation for, it's not worth it. Your pastors aren't warning you because the pastors are seeking God's faith. But I am. And for those of you who think it's a joke, your households are already marked first. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For the same God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob reigns. For the same God that parted the Red Sea from Moses lives. Repent, it's not worth it. Return to me, my people. Seek my face while I still may be found, saith the Lord. Children, Jesus loves you. Pray to Jesus every night. I started praying to Jesus when I was eight years old and he saved my life. He will save your life, even if your parents aren't listening. Children, God is getting ready to strike the land. There will be no light. There will be
will be no food. There will be no water. There will be no celebrations such as these. These are the times that was spoken of in the book of Revelation. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, so that whosoever would believe in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. It's not worth it. It's not worth your houses. It's not worth your cars. God sent me as a divine warner to warn you that he's getting ready to strike the land. Repent, pastors. There is a warning for you pastors under the sound of my voice. Your churches are under judgment. If you are attending a church and the church is not teaching you that there is a such place as a lake of fire, get out of there. For that church is under judgment. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whosoever would believe in him will not perish but will have everlasting life. God is getting ready to strike the land. There will be no light. There will be no food. There will be no water. What will you feed your children? God has sent me here as a divine warner to warn his people to return to him and he will protect you. Children, pray to Jesus, baby. He loves you. He loves you with all of his heart. That's why he sent me here. Pastors, if you're under the sound of my voice and you're attending a church and the church is not telling you about this, get out of there. That church is under judgment. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whosoever would believe in him will not perish but will have everlasting life. God is getting ready to strike the land. There will be no light. There will be no power. There will be no water. You're being officially visited by heaven. You don't even know it because you've turned your backs on me, my people. Return to God while he still may be found. Just like in the days of Lot. Just like in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. Repent. before he strikes the land, that he will warn his people first. 
What will you feed your children? Lake Mead is drying up. The Euphrates River is drying up. For it is written that God is not a God that God could be mocked. So whoever is standing next to you that laughed at me, you will see their households go down first. You will be a witness. You will be there. I won't be. For I am on my way to heaven. While I'm on my way to heaven, I am sent here as a divine warner to warn you to repent. For the same cause of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob pray. For the same God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob lives. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Teach your children that there is a such place as hell or they'll be burning next to you in the lake of fire. For God so loved the world. God gave his only begotten son, so that whosoever will believe in him will not perish. You're being officially warned. Y'all the lucky ones, cause y'all under the sound of my voice. Why y'all pastors ain't out here? Why your pastors are not warning you? This is a warning for you pastors. If you're under the sound of my voice, and you're a pastor, or you're attending a church where the pastor's not telling you this, get out of there. That church is under judgment. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. For God is not a God that God can be mocked. I'm glad you think it's funny because your life is under judgment. You will see and your friends will be a witness. I'm glad you have your pastor here. Is there a reason that you're not out here with me more than the people? Because I don't think the way you did it is the way Jesus would have done it. Because you don't think the way that I did it is the way Jesus would have done it? Did he not say go out into the highways and the byways and preach the gospel and spread the gospel? Are you preaching judgment? Are you preaching judgment? Am I preaching judgment? Only God can judge. Okay. But God has his warning. That's what these people are here. That's what these people are here. How many times do you tell them Jesus is loving them? Why are these people here? He loves them, absolutely. Have you told these people that? Have you told these people that? Absolutely. For God's love. I didn't hear that part. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whosoever would believe in him will not perish but will have everlasting life. Is that good enough for you? Or do you need more money for your fancy churches? For your fancy cars? For your fancy houses? Why are you not out here? Why are you not out here? Your life is already under judgment. You're not going to have that church. I promise you, mark my word, just as sure as the lightning strikes from the east to the west, so shall it be with the coming of the Son of Man. And just as sure as I'm standing here as a divine messenger for God Almighty, your church doors will be open 24 hours a day. But by then, it will be too late. By then, you'll be repenting because you'll be unforgivable for what it is that you're standing here judging yourself for because you have no clue because you have not been seeking God, so he had to send me while you out here partying with the people. Party on, man. Party all the way to hell. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whosoever would believe in him will not perish but will have everlasting life. God is getting ready to strike the land. And if your pastors is not warning you, I would get out of there. That church is under judgment. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whosoever would believe in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. God is getting ready to strike the land. There will be no food. There will be no water. There will be no power. And for those of you pastors, under the sound of my voice, your churches are already under judgment. The Spirit of God is calling you out. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whosoever will believe in him will not perish but will have everlasting life. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For the same God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob reigns. For the same God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob lives. For the same God that parted the Red Sea from Moses is getting ready to strike the land. Your pastors are warning you because your pastors are here drunk amongst the people. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whosoever will believe in him will not perish but will have everlasting life. God is getting ready to strike the land. There will be no light. There will be no food. There will be no water. Repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For the same God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob reigns. For the same God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob lives. Repent, my people. Return to me while you still can. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whosoever will believe in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. For God sent his son to die for you. Your pastors are warning you because they're here drunk amongst the people. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. The lights are going out. There will be no food. There will be no water. There will be no power. The Euphrates River is dried up. Once the Euphrates River is all the way dried up, China will bring in over a 600 million man army. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For my God is not a God to be mocked. So for those of you who are laughing, your household will be judged first. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, so that whosoever would believe in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Repent, my people, for God is getting ready to strike the land. There will be no food. There will be no water. There will be no light. Repent while you still can. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whosoever would believe in him will not perish but will have everlasting life. Return to God while you still can. God is getting ready to strike the land. There will be no light. There will be no food. There will be no water. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God, for everything that you spoke here today. Thank you, God, that the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart are acceptable in your sight, God. I love you, God, and I thank you for loving me. God Amen. has called me here as a divine warner to tell you to repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. There is no food. There is no water. There is no light. 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 There is and the reason that y'all don't know about it is because the pastors are here among the people drunk. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And God has sent me here as a divine warner to tell his people to repent. Return to God while he still may be found. This is not a test of the emergency broadcast system. This is a real deal. Repent, for God is getting ready to strike the land. It won't be so funny then. You won't be mocking me then. You won't be walking by me then. Y'all will see. Y'all the lucky ones. Cause you're under the sound of my voice. You have been officially warned by 